CIS literature class um, is probably one of the most enhancing thing that I've done in my career. What do we do in CIS English? Well, we, we read these books. I mean, they're not small books. There's six in total. I mean, I think they're the size of a Bible, honestly. For me, it usually takes me about a day or two nonstop reading to read them. And we have to take notes on them as well, in-depth notes. I mean, he requires a paragraph or two for each chapter. It's, it's all necessary for the penultimate test, which is the discussions we have each day. He requires us to analyze each page with detail. We need to know exactly what each word means because beyond the words there's another meaning and that meaning also has another meaning. We're supposed to express all of these in class in these discussions. I mean it's cutthroat if we don't talk at least six or seven times in depth. I mean he, he'd fail us. So it's this constant work. In CIS English we read a lot which is a lot of fun. Um, we do a lot of, it's very discussion based, the class, uh, so we, you know, we'll read a book on like the weekend and then during the weekday we usually have two or three discussion days where we have specific tasks to go over and different, we talk about different themes in the books. Uh, it's a lot of fun, it's very stressful, very fast paced, but yeah. Uh, well, I write a lot, I read a lot, I talk a lot, I stay up late, uh, it's actually made me sick, if you can hear my voice. That's from staying up. That's sleep deprivation. Yeah, we just read a lot and do a lot of homework, and sometimes we just cry. And like Teo in ceremony, we sit on the bed and we cry and want to throw up all the time. Now that I've CIS in English, there's no life left in me. All I do is homework. All day, my mom will ask, do you want to go do something? I'll be like, no, I have homework. And, I, well, I don't even have time to cry. I want to cry, but there's no time to cry because there's just more English to do. And now that I'm in CIS English, there's just no escaping. Like, I'm stuck now. And I used to be a good student. I don't think it's worth all the time I spent on it to get like a B minus on my college transcript right away. It's pretty bad. One thing I know about the class is it's pretty taxing on the students. There's a lot of work um, involved. We have to write these five or six page essays, multiple ones for each book, about the, analyzing them in more detail. And it's, it's taken up a lot of time. I don't really sleep anymore. I and mean, I consider it an optional activity. Uh, I got an hour and a half of sleep on my birthday because of that, because of that class. Uh, I was up pretty much all night until 5.30 working on a paper. It's terrible. My life um, is very different after CIS English. Uh, it's much more stressful. I get a lot less sleep. Um, but I also feel like I've learned a lot about myself and the world and literature in general. I feel like I have a much more open mind about a lot of things. And I think that's really good. I feel like I've benefited a lot from the class, but the mental toll it takes is very taxing. I really like analyzing things now. I saw this kid's movie the other day and my mom was like, wasn't that a good movie? And I was like, didn't you realize the racist undertones in that movie? You have to analyze it better. And then I failed her. And so hopefully the goal of the class is to get kids to think. And so not just have ideas just because they have ideas, but to understand why they have the ideas and whether or not they're valid and if they're well supported. This is my, my life's work. It's like a textbook I wrote for English has everything in it. All of my articles, my essays, stories, notes, and my own story about cannibalism. Because sometimes stress turns people to drugs, but that's not what CIS English did to me. It made me think about experimenting with cannibalism instead. My life is different in that 
maybe an hour, maybe three or four hours of sleep each week. I mean, I went out sometimes before this class, but now it's me in my room for a long time. I don't really have friends anymore. I actually, I have a little stuffed bear named Paddington that I like to keep next to me. I sometimes ask him questions. He doesn't really talk back though. I just want to share that CIS English itself is cannibalistic and it will consume you. And I just know that eventually CIS English, because of the way it consumes students' minds, will soon have to purge itself. Binging and purging is not a healthy form of cannibalism, and I don't know how it's all going to end. The, it's just the most scarring experience of my life. Just the pressure it puts on me to do well. Uh, it's terrible.